All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation k times k times k plus k is equal to 30. So obviously I wanna find the value of k in this equation. So to start off, k times k times k is the same thing as k to the power of three. So I have k to the power of three plus k is equal to 30. And now I'm gonna subtract 30 on both sides. So I get k to the power of three plus k minus 30 is equal to zero. Now I'm gonna rewrite this as k to the power of three plus k minus 27 minus three is equal to zero. And 27 is the same thing as three to the power of three. So I get k to the power of three plus k minus three to the power of three minus three is equal to zero. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of three minus b to the power of three, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. So this is equal to k minus three times k squared plus 3k plus 3 squared, which is 9. And we can't forget our plus k minus 3 at the end, which is this part right here. And this is equal to 0. So now, because both of these terms have k minus 3 in them, I can factor out k minus 3. So I get k minus 3 times k squared plus 3k plus 9 plus 1, because k minus 3 divided by k minus 3 is 1 is equal to zero. So this turns into k minus three times k squared plus three k plus 10 is equal to zero. Now I'm gonna divide this into two different equations. I have k minus three equals zero and k squared plus three k plus 10 is equal to zero. So for k minus three equals zero, I can add three on both sides. So I get k is equal to three. So this is one solution of k. And for k squared plus 3k plus 10 equals 0, because it's a quadratic equation, I can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 3, and c is 10. So I get k equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 9, minus 4, times a, which is 1, times c, which is 10 all over 2a, so 2 times 1. So now this is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 40 over 2, which is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 31 over 2. And I can rewrite this as negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 31i over 2, because i is equal to the square root of negative 1. So this is two more solutions of K. So these are my three solutions. All right, so in this problem, I have two to the power of X minus three to the power of Y is equal to seven. So I wanna find the values of X and Y. So for my solution, I have something in the form 2 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of y equals 7. I'm going to rewrite 7 as 4 plus 3. So now I have 2 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of y is equal to 4 plus 3. And the reason I did this was because 4 is the same thing as 2 squared. So now I get 2 squared plus 3. And notice how I have something in the form 2 to the power of number minus 3 to the power of number is equal to 2 to the power of number. And I also have 3 to the power of 1. Now from here, I'm going to group the powers of 2 together and group the powers of 3 together. So I'm going to subtract 2 squared on both sides. So I get 2 to the power of x minus 2 squared minus three to the power of y is equal to 
3, and then I'm going to add 3 to the power of y on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get 2 to the power of x minus 2 squared is equal to 3 to the power of y plus 3. Now, for my left-hand side, I'm going to factor out 2 squared. So, actually, instead, I should say I'm going to divide by 2 squared. So, 2 to the power of x divided by 2 squared is equal to, well, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So that's the same thing as 2 to the power of x minus 2. And then I have this minus 2 squared divided by 2 squared is 1. And now this is equal to, from on this side, I'm going to divide by 3. So I have 3 times 3 to the power of y divided by 3. 3 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1. So I get 3 to the power of y minus 1. And then 3 divided by 3 is equal to one, so I get plus one. Now from here, if I have something in form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So two squared times two to the power of x minus two, this is equal to two to the power of two plus x minus two, and these two and 2 and negative 2 cancel out, so I just get 2 to the power of x. So 2 squared times 2 to the power of x minus 2 is 2 to the power of x, and I have 2 squared times negative 1, which is negative 2 squared, and this is equal to three to the power of y plus three. So I'm just checking if we distributed, or, or sorry, if we factored out right, and it looks like we did. So, now going back here, let me rewrite this. I have 2 squared times 2 to the power of x minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 3 times 1 plus 3 to the power of y minus 1. And Notice how 2 squared, that's equal to 4, is an even number, and 2 to the power of x minus 2. Well, 2 to the power of any number is even, and an even number minus 1 is going to be odd. So we have an even number times an odd number is equal to 3 is an odd number, times 3 to the power of any number is an odd number, plus an odd number plus 1 is an even number. So you have an even number times an odd number is equal to an odd number times an even number. Now, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the even, odd numbers equal to each other and then the even numbers equal to each other. So this gives me two equations. I get 2 squared is equal to 1 plus 3 to the power of y minus 1. And I also have 2 to the power of x minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 3. So let's first start with this equation. This is, equal, this is going to equal 4 is equal to 1 plus 3 to the power of y minus 1. And this means that 3 is equal to 3 to the power of y minus 1, meaning y is equal to 2. So the value of y is 2. Now for 2 to the power of x minus 2 minus 1 equals 3, I'm going to first start by adding 1 on both sides. So I get 2 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 4. And now 4 is the same thing as 2 squared, so I get 2 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 2 squared. And this means that x minus 2 is equal to 2, and if I add 2 on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 2 plus 2, which is 4. So my solution is x equals 4, and y is equal to 2.